Most of us were told that education is the key to a bright future. Go to college, get a degree, land a good job. That's the dream, right? But what if this dream is actually a trap? For years, families have poured their life savings into sending their kids to college. They see it as the best investment for a secure future. But here's the problem. College tuition is at an all-time high, and students are taking on massive debt. And those jobs everyone expects after graduation? Many of them pay just enough to get by. Why do we do it? Because we're told it's the only way forward. For many families, taking out loans is the only way to afford college. And student loans are different. They're nearly impossible to get rid of. Even if you declare bankruptcy, they stick with you. The average student graduates with tens of thousands of dollars in debt. And with interest, that debt often doubles or triples over time. Imagine Sarah, a sociology major who took out $40,000 in loans. She lands a $35,000 a year job, but can barely cover her rent, groceries, and loan payments. 10 years later, she's still paying, and her debt has actually grown because of interest. This is what millions of graduates are going through. Middle-class families are especially pressured to go to college. For them, it's all about stability and making it. College is seen as the only way to get a steady job and avoid poverty. But the cost of college is rising fast. Middle-class families are stretching their finances to send their kids to school, hoping it'll pay off. Meanwhile, trade schools or entrepreneurial paths are rarely mentioned, even though they can offer real, affordable career options. Studies show that trade school grads often start earning sooner and without the burden of debt. But high schools and counselors rarely recommend this path. Even if you graduate, what about the job market? Over 40% of recent grads are underemployed, working in jobs that don't require a degree or don't match what they studied. So you go through years of schooling, only to find yourself in a job that doesn't even need a degree. Take Michael, for example. He graduates with a marketing degree, expecting a $50,000 starting salary. But he ends up in a $28,000 retail job. After paying his bills and loan payments, he has almost nothing left. He thought a degree would open doors, but it's just another struggle. And then there's the emotional toll. People carry this huge financial burden, feeling like they're stuck in jobs they don't even want. Parents are disappointed. Students feel like they've let everyone down, and it becomes a mental health issue. Anxiety, depression, burnout. It's the side of student debt we don't often talk about. So what can we do? One step is to start questioning this one-size-fits-all approach to education. Community colleges, trade schools, apprenticeships. These paths can lead to great careers without the debt. There are countless stories of people who skipped college, pursued trades or started businesses, and became successful. It's not settling. It's about making a smart choice that works for you. And with so many online resources, you can learn skills for specific jobs without paying for an expensive degree. Maybe it's time to rethink what success looks like. Education is important, yes, but it's also a massive industry that profits off the hopes of students and parents. It's time we stop treating the traditional college path as the only way forward. There are other paths to success and happiness. Thanks for watching. If this video opened your eyes, share it with someone who needs to hear this.